Hello, my name is Michael Milgram and I'm a, I'm a psychologist. I wanted to spend a few minutes to talk to you about retirement. Our society has two views of retirement. The one is that during retirement you go and you play golf and travel throughout the world and have endless fun. The other, the other view of, of retirement is that there is nothing to do. You sit in front of television all the time and life is empty, lonely, and meaningless. Unfortunately, what happens to so many people is they play a lot of golf, they do their travels, they get bored, and they feel like, okay, I'm retired now. It goes into the second version that there's nothing to do with life and life becomes meaningless. That is, unfortunately, the view that many people live with. In Judaism and in psychology, in my, my view of a true understanding of psychology, there's a completely different view to retirement. And I think you can learn most about retirement by looking at children. Children don't think about, oh, what's my, what's my purpose in life? I'm, you know, I don't have a good job. I don't have a good status. You know, I, what am I supposed to do with my life anymore? They're continually learning, growing, doing, exploring life. So retirement, as it's called, or I would just call it a transition to another stage in one's life, doesn't have to be about having no definition of oneself anymore. It could be about returning to, in a way, that earlier stage of wanting to learn and grow and explore life in a meaningful way. Think of all the things you can do that you have time to do now that you didn't have before. Time to sit and, and to learn wisdom, to reach out to friends that you haven't had time to, to spend time with, and relatives. Um, I know as a psychologist that if one person shows care for another, it can completely change your life to be there for someone on a regular basis. You can do that. And if you can't think of someone in your life to do that with, then find place ways to associate with others and share yourself with them. Take an aerobics class, go to, go to the movies with someone and discuss it with them, read a good book and uh, join a book club, expand your mind, expand your awareness, take a course in art, learn and live. There is always more to live. And I'll just tell you in closing, I just read this book about a woman, her name is Alice Hertz Summer. She is 109 years old. She still practices the piano for three hours a day. At the age of about 100, she lost the use of her two index fingers. So she relearned how to play the piano with only eight fingers. She used to be a world-class pianist. She probably isn't so much anymore, but she loves music. Find what you love, and that will sustain you and keep your life meaningful.